Hello, everyone. Welcome to this new edition of Learning About Important People in Less Than Five Minutes. In today's segment, we will talk about Mary McLeod Bethune, a feminist, selfless leader. My name is Vivian Bosa, and this is my library channel. First, I will talk about Mary's early life. Next, I will mention her educational philosophy. Then, two of her accomplishments. And lastly, why she is relevant even in 2023. Let's start with her early life. Mary McLeod Bethune was born in July 10, 1875 in Maysville, South Carolina. She was a 15th child of formerly enslaved people. Her parents believed in education and sent her to school instead of work. She was a really good student, so her teacher recommended her for a scholarship. What was her educational philosophy? After graduating from two different colleges, Mary became a teacher. She passionately believed that in order to succeed, you needed to train the head, the heart, and the hand. This made her a pragmatist, or a person who deals with problems or situations by focusing on practical approaches and solutions. Above all, her main focus was the education of black girls, for which she fought tirelessly. Let's see two of her main accomplishments. In 1904, Bethune moved to Florida and became the founder of what is now Bethune-Cookman University in Daytona Beach, an all-black girls' school on land that had once been a city dump that she purchased for $1.50. Her efforts on behalf of education and improved racial relations brought her to national prominence and she served as the political advisor for four U.S. presidents, including the Roosevelts, which eventually landed her a position in his black cabinet. Why is Mary McLeod Bethune still relevant? She was the first black person to represent a state in the U.S. Capitol National Statuary Hall collection in Washington, D.C. She paved the way for other females to aspire leadership roles that aim to make a difference. Her work can inspire women to fight for racial equality and justice, female advancement and empowerment, and faith in God, oneself, and others. You can make a difference too. Join peaceful marches, advocate for black people's rights, for equality and for justice, read stories written by black authors, Study as much as you can and voice your opinions. We need you. Thank you so much for watching this short presentation. See you on the next segment.